And um, <laughs> immediately, I'm unnerved by two things here, because the first, uh, the first point of Duncan's slide I said um, outcomes, not numbers, and I'm here to talk to you about numbers, which seems a bit disingenuous. But more worrying, and I'm not going to say who, one of the gentlemen on the front row looks incredibly like a body double for a, a renal surgeon who I used to cross swords with when I was a finance director. Uh, and after one particularly difficult budget setting round, and I think you know, you're about to see lots of that in NHS uh, in the next uh, year or so, um, he took me to one side and said uh, verbatim, um, you yeah, know, that was difficult, I realise you've got a tough job, but I know you're committed to the NHS, but can I just say this? The best thing you could do for the NHS is to go and get run over by a bus so I can use your kidneys on someone who deserves them. So, <laughs> one of you chaps, <laughs> and that's God's truth. We, we made it up afterwards, but you know, that, that's how tough it is. Uh, but one of you chaps there, so don't look at me too closely, I was having a little trouble here. And I'll be in trouble with this as well, I can tell you. So, I mean, I was given a brief to talk about financing and funding. In um, you know the state of, the state of budgets and so forth, and I didn't think you'd want me to just run through the red book and the treasury numbers. You can look at those. You know the broad picture. So what I've tried to do is to give kind of an overview introduction to uh, NHS financing and some views on where it's going, and for sort of folks that are around reimbursement, because it seems to me that what you are generally interested in, uh, without being too uh, blatant about it, is reimbursement for your product or your services. You want to sell to the NHS and you want to get paid to sell to the NHS. It, it, so it seemed to us it would be, well, it might be interesting, you'll judge that, uh, it's interesting to wonks like me to understand how the NHS gets its money, you know, where it comes from, how, it, how it's allocated, and then what it does with it, uh, and where that takes us to. So that's what I'm going to talk to you about. If you're not interested, you know, Cup of coffee time. Um, some of this will be self-evident to, to some of you, and I, I, I apologise if it is all very obvious, um, but from past experience, it's not all obvious to everybody, so I've kind of gone back to basics here.